We're here today celebrating art, celebrating emancipation and empowerment, and hoping to boost the economic prosperity of our black artists and their families and the communities that they represent. Many of you realize it, but some do not, that artists are entrepreneurs. So when we support the cultural arts, we are supporting black-owned businesses. Three of the works that are here were created here in Montclair uh, back in 2008, 2009. Um, so to have those paintings come back you know, to Montclair is like, you know, uh, homecoming. When I came back from Cuba, came back from home, I started a body of work called Heavy and Loaded. And in that series, it was very heavy with content, subject matter, stories, stories of brown and black people. And it was also heavy in another way because I was using resin, I was using gunshot shells. All these things were being used, targets were being used, flags were being used during this process. So going home to Cuba was one of those things that just, you know, inspired me to change my whole way of thinking when it came to my work. So that one experience of going home just made me say, you need to create with no boundaries. And when I see an event like this, uh, a group like this, this organization and what you're trying to do, it, it restores some faith in, in, in our community, in our, uh, in our future. And I think working, working like you are, it really will make a difference. And I'm happy that we at the Montclair Art Museum could participate with you and I hope help advance what you're trying to do. My name is Jason Wallace and I'm with the First Energy Foundation. And the First Energy Foundation is honored to be here today to support this event. Uh, we partner with uh, local nonprofit organizations that help strengthen our communities. And the First Energy Foundation, part of our vision is to invest in those organizations to help transform and enhance the diversity and inclusion of the communities we serve. So it's an honor to be here, partnering with Empower the Village, and thank you. A lot of people have ideas and a lot of people talk, but not everybody is about action. Congratulations to you. As people of color, as, as African Americans, we, there's so many different areas where we need to be empowered. Um, we do have power, and in a lot of cases, we don't understand that we do. And so if all the things that come to bear on our positivity and our ability to move forward are under one umbrella in this organization, I think that's a great thing. What's so powerful about Empower the Village is that it uses data to systemically pinpoint the areas that are holding back Black America and mobilizes both the Black community in critical states and areas as well as allies to remove obstacles in areas like voting, policy and power, education, healthcare, and my passion and my area, which is around business and accumulating wealth. Go to the website, like us, follow us. But it is, it is a movement. It is powerful. It is, it embodies probably what many of us think, but it's actually doing. Together as a village, we can definitely achieve our mission for Empower the Village, which is to restore prosperity, peace, and power to the black community. I think it's wonderful that Cheryl said that we you know, have this federal holiday, there's the emancipation that we're celebrating in the federal holiday, but we need to move from emancipation to empowerment, and it's going to take this village and a bigger village than that.